In this video, we're going to explore the enchanting streets of Paris. Known as the City of Light, Paris is a timeless metropolis with rich history, iconic landmarks and unparalleled charm. Whether you're strolling along the Seine River next to the Eiffel Tower at sunset or savoring a croissant in a charming cafe in Montmartre, every corner of this city offers a unique experience. Get ready to immerse yourself in the beauty, romance, and allure of Paris as we embark on this unforgettable journey together. Originally commissioned by Queen Marie de Medici in the early 17th century, the Luxembourg Gardens offer a tranquil retreat from the bustling city. As you enter, you'll be greeted by meticulously manicured lawns, vibrant flowerbeds, and an enchanting collection of statues and fountains. The park's centerpiece is the Luxembourg Palace, a stunning architectural gem that serves as the seat of the French Senate. Explore the many facets as you wander through its various sections. Discover the serene Medici fountain, decorated with mythical creatures and surrounded by lush greenery. Let the fragrance of blooming roses captivate your senses in the picturesque rose garden. Visit the Orangerie, a charming gallery that hosts rotating art exhibitions. Admire the works of renowned artists or attend one of the many cultural events that take place within the park's grounds. The Seine River is the iconic waterway that gracefully winds its way through the heart of Paris. Flowing for approximately 777 kilometers, the Seine is not only a lifeline for transportation but also a source of inspiration for artists, poets, and lovers alike. One of the best ways to experience the Seine is by taking a river cruise during sunset to witness the magical transformation of Paris as the city lights up. Take a leisurely stroll, have a picnic on the riverbank or join the locals in a game of petanque. For a unique experience, consider exploring the islands of the Seine. Ile de la Cité, home to the Notre Dame Cathedral, and Ile Saint Louis, with its charming 17th century architecture, offer a glimpse into Paris's rich history and architectural splendor. The Palace of Versailles is a magnificent symbol of opulence located just outside of Paris. It was originally a hunting lodge that was transformed into a lavish residence by King Louis XIV in the 17th century. It became the seat of power and the center of French politics for over a century. The construction of the palace began in 1661 and continued for several decades. With its stunning interiors, gilded decorations, and lavish gardens, Versailles was a manifestation of the Sun King's vision of power and dominance. The Hall of Mirrors is a breathtaking gallery with 357 mirrors, crystal chandeliers, and elaborate paintings. It served as a venue for royal ceremonies and witnessed significant historical events, such as the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, which marked the end of World War I. The palace's gardens are a true masterpiece of landscape architecture, covering more than 800 hectares featuring grand fountains and charming groves. We recommend that you plan your visit on a Wednesday or Thursday to have the best chance to avoid crowds. It can be quite busy on Tuesdays because it's closed on Mondays. Also, the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays, making that day a popular option for visiting Versailles. The Arc de Triomphe is a monumental symbol of Parisian pride that was commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte in 1806 to honor the victories of the French army. It took over 30 years to complete, standing at a height of 50 meters welcoming visitors into the heart of Paris. Ornate sculptures depict scenes of military triumph and allegorical figures representing liberty, peace, and resistance. Ascend the steps to reach the observation deck at the top, where panoramic views of Paris await. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, located beneath the arch, pays tribute to the fallen soldiers of World War I and a flame perpetually burns in their memory. Try to visit during the evening to witness the monument illuminated, creating a truly magical sight. Once a bustling train station, the Musée d'Orsay opened its doors as a museum in 1986, offering visitors a unique experience within its grand halls. Its collections features an impressive array of paintings, sculptures, decorative arts, and photography from renowned artists such as Monet, Renoir, Van Gogh, and Dega. From vibrant impressionist landscapes to captivating sculptures, each artwork tells a story and invites you to delve into the artist's world. Purchase Skip the Line tickets in advance to avoid queues. 
consider taking an audio guide or visit on the first Sunday of the month when all visitors get free entry to the permanent collections. The Musée d'Orsay is not just a museum, it's a journey through time, revealing the evolution of art and the cultural shifts that shaped the 19th and early 20th centuries. Champs-Élysées is one of the world's most famous avenues, synonymous with luxury, glamour, and vibrant energy. Stretching from the Place de la Concorde to the Arc de Triomphe it offers a captivating blend of history, culture, and modernity. Champs-Élysées is not only a shopper's paradise but also a cultural hub. Immerse yourself in art at the prestigious Grand Palais and Petit Palais, which house magnificent collections and host world-class exhibitions. Take a leisurely stroll down the avenue, especially during the evening when the lights twinkle and create a magical ambiance. Montmartre is a vibrant and bohemian neighborhood in the heart of Paris. The unique charm and artistic spirit of this district has fueled the likes of Picasso, Van Gogh, and Hemingway. At its heart stands the iconic Sacre Coeur, a majestic white basilica, perched on top of a hill, offering breathtaking panoramic views of Paris. Discover the serene atmosphere and exquisite details that decorate its interior. Admire the stunning mosaics, intricate stained glass windows, and the sense of tranquility that fills this sacred place. Sacre Coeur is open every day of the year, including on bank holidays, from 6 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. and entry is free. Lose yourself in the bustling Montmartre, where artists showcase their skills and create captivating works of art. Indulge in a coffee at one of the charming cafes or savor the delectable delights at a local boulangerie. Don't miss the famous Moulin Rouge, a legendary cabaret that has been entertaining audiences for over a century. Consider arriving early in the morning to experience Montmartre before the crowds and remember to wear comfortable shoes, as the neighborhood is known for its hilly streets. Notre Dame Cathedral, meaning Our Lady, is a timeless masterpiece and an iconic symbol of Paris. A wonder of Gothic architecture that has stood the test of time for over 800 years. Construction of the cathedral began in 1163 and took nearly 200 years to complete. As we approach the cathedral, we are greeted by its facade adorned with intricate stone carvings and magnificent stained glass windows. One of the highlights is the magnificent rose window. These stunning circular stained glass windows, located on the western façade depict biblical scenes and saints, illuminating the interior with their radiant beauty. In 2019, a devastating fire engulfed Notre Dame, causing significant damage to its roof and spire. However, the resilience of this architectural masterpiece prevailed, and extensive restoration efforts have been undertaken to restore the cathedral to its former glory. As it undergoes renovations interior visits are currently unavailable. However, visitors can still explore the cathedral square, offering views of the crypt and the entrance. The reopening is announced for the 8th of December 2024. Next up is the Louvre Museum, a treasure trove of art and culture in the heart of Paris. The history of the Louvre dates back to the 12th century as it was originally built as a fortress in 1190, which connected with the Philip August Wall. In 1546, the Louvre took on a new role as the royal French residence. Extensions were made to the palace, resulting in the magnificent building we see today. Marvel at the iconic works like the Mona Lisa, the enigmatic masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci, and the stunning Venus de Milo, a symbol of beauty and grace. Explore the Louvre's galleries filled with ancient Egyptian artifacts, classical sculptures, and breathtaking paintings. One tip is to avoid the long security queue at the famous pyramid entrance by entering through the Carousel du Louvre since it's lesser known allowing you to save time and make the most of your visit. Purchase your tickets in advance online to skip the lines and make the most of your time. Consider visiting during quieter times, such as weekdays or during the evening. The Louvre is enormous, so it's helpful to take a map or use a museum guide to navigate the areas or artworks you'd like to prioritize seeing. The Eiffel Tower is an architectural masterpiece and a symbol of Paris named after its creator, Gustave Eiffel. Rising to a height of 324 meters, the Eiffel Tower dominates the skyline with its elaborate framework of iron. As you ascend the tower, either by elevator or by climbing its stairs, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views of Paris. 
The observation decks offer sweeping views of the city's famous landmarks, such as the Arc de Triomphe, the Seine River, and the urban landscape filled with historic buildings. It was originally built for the 1889 World's Fair to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Initially met with mixed reactions, it has since become an enduring symbol of art, science, and human achievement. At night, the Eiffel Tower is transformed into a dazzling spectacle as its lights illuminate the Parisian sky. The sight of the tower aglow with thousands of sparkling lights is nothing short of magical and creates a truly romantic ambiance. Timing and tickets matter. You can buy tickets on the Eiffel Tower website up to two months in advance. Taking the elevator costs 18 euros to the second floor and 28 euros to the top. Avoid long queues by planning your visit during quieter times, such as weekdays in winter, the busiest period is from mid-July to late August. And that concludes our top 10 must-visit places in Paris. But wait! Paris has even more to offer beyond the ones we've covered in this video. Don't forget to explore the Saint-Chapelle, Centre Pompidou or spend one day in Disneyland and many more. If you enjoyed this video, Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. We'll continue to bring you the best of travel and adventure from around the world. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy exploring!